Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Marvel Monday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Marvel Legends series, Mindless One, Build-A-Figure Waves, Lady Bullseye. Let's get into it! Let's start things off with a look at the packaging. And here we have on the top flap, build a figure, mindless one, a hook. Assortment number four and up. Warning! Don't stick things in your pie hole that do not belong there. Daredevil Legend Series. Nice big window showcasing the figure and big hunks of build a figure piece. Marvel Knights, Marvel's Lady Bullseye Hasbro print. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, main china print, symbols I'm not gonna learn, and a barcode. On this side, some fantastic artwork, Lady Bullseye. And on this side, that same fantastic artwork of Lady Bullseye. And on the back, larger, awesome artwork of Lady Bullseye. Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Lady Bullseye. Lady Bullseye is a contract killer with a secret identity, martial arts prowess, and a vendetta against the ninja order, the Hand. And there it is again in some other languages. Build a figure, mindless one. There's a completed build a figure with numbers that correspond to which figure in the wave each piece comes with. And here's cross sale. We've got Midnight Suns Iron Man. Marvel Knights Blade, Marvel Knights Lady Bullseye, which is this figure, Marvel Knights Luke Cage, Marvel Knights The Fist Ninja, I keep wanting to call him Hand Ninja, Marvel Knights Clea, Marvel Knights Daredevil, each sold separately, subject to availability. Attention! Don't stick things in your French pie hole. Warning attention, Octung, don't stick things in any other language pie hole that do not belong there. Don't give it to babies. Marvel print, small fine legalese, made in China print, symbol that I do know. That's Hasbro print. That, my friends, does it for a look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and her accessories. And we'll start off with accessories, but first of all, we'll start off with the big Build-A-Figure piece. And as you can see, nice molded details on it. Some assembly is required even with this piece. So we'll cover more of that when we get to the Build-A-Figure. And then here we have the other piece, the back of the mindless one. And let's take a look at Lady Bullseye's accessories. And here we have her fan. And it seems to be molded in this silvery gray plastic with this paint app on it. And I don't know, it gives it an interesting look, I think. Wouldn't want to face off against it. And there's two of those, and they seem to be exactly the same. Nice molded details. And she comes with a set of alternate hands, which are fists. Nothing we haven't seen before. In fact, I think we might have seen these with Black Widow. The Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest 60th Anniversary. So on in and out hinge, so it's on in and out hinge, so maybe not. So maybe from a previous figure. Nice molded details, all molded in black plastic. And next up we have her size, which we have seen before, at least with a couple of Electra figures. Maybe some ninjas too, I don't recall. But it looks like, again, they're molded in this silvery plastic. And then the handle is a paint app. And there's two of those. 
and they seem to be exactly the same. Her final accessory is a katana sword. Again, nothing we haven't seen in Marvel Legends before. Possibly with Deadpool. Again, looks like it's molded in this plastic, and then this is the paint out. But you never know. I could be wrong. It could be reverse. But that's the way it looks to me. It looks even got some nice molded detail down there on the bottom of the handguard. So that's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the figure herself. And I have to say, I am not familiar with this character at all. But I will have to say, I do like this head sculpt. It's very nice. Lots of details up here in the hair, and then this separate piece is glued on with her two chopsticks in her bun there. And then, of course, the bullseye on her forehead. And then nice paint apps for the mask around the eye and this up here. And I don't know if it's actually a mask or if it's just face paint. Who knows? And is this a uniform, a costume, or is this body paint? I don't know that either, but it doesn't seem to be like any parts are showing. And the way that the chest is molded, it looks like it's supposed to be cloth. So I'm assuming it's a uniform of some type. And I have to say, you know, it's probably mostly in the black at least this is this looks like black widow legs and arms as well at least into the wrist or the hands might be something different from something different but I'm sure that we've probably seen these before this hand for sure we've seen with Electra at least once in the Daredevil 3 pack maybe a couple of times so let's take a look at her articulation. She looks up that far, and I have to tell you, these pieces right here are really soft. So she can look up that far, and you can see she's on that classic ball and hinge. She can look down that far. She's got lots of chicken neck. She's got lots of waggle. She can do the full exorcist at the shoulder, 360 degrees of rotation and she can raise her arm that high now this chest piece is not black widow i believe black widow didn't she have she had a butterfly joint in there didn't she so this chest piece is an older piece it looks like but the rest of it seems to be black widow no it's missing something here too so the torso is older stuff And at the elbow, she has a double hinged pinless joint there, and it gives you that much bend, so that's really good. 360 degree rotation at the wrist on an in and out hinge, and in and out hinge on the other side as well. Cut here where the chest and the abdomen meet. It gives her all kinds of hula. She can lean back that far, she can lean forward that far, she can lean left and right and a 360 degree rotation at the hips she can give you that much of the splits she kicks forward a little better than 90 degrees we'll say and then back um, about a half a step maybe three quarters of a step cut here at the upper thigh for full 360 degree rotation double hinged pinless knee it gives you that much bend then at the ankles, tilts down that far, tilts up that far, and forward facing pin for rocker. And as far as storage for her weapons goes, she has none, but she does have this in the back, so I don't know if maybe they originally planned a backpack for her. I don't know if the character carries a backpack or sheaths on her back or whatever, but anyway, you have some hanging around that'll fit those ports 
There you go. But as far as storage, there is no storage. She just has to hold what you can fit in her hands. And that, my friends, is a look at Lady Bullseye and her accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have the Marvel Legends series, Mindless One Build-A-Figure Waves, Lady Bullseye, along with the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Daredevil 3-pack of Daredevil, Electra in white, and Bullseye in funky colors. For our final set of comparisons, here we have the Marvel Legends series Mindless One Build-A-Figure Waves Lady Bullseye with our final Marvel Legends series comparison, making his cameo appearance, Stan the Man Lee from G.I. Joe Classified series, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander from Star Wars The Black series, the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper, and for a 7-inch scale comparison from the Masters of the Universe Masterverse line, the 40th Anniversary He-Man. For final thoughts on the Marvel Legends series, Mindless One, Build-A-Figure Waves, Lady Bullseye, I have to say I originally passed on getting this figure. I was like, um, it's going to get just a couple out of this wave and call it a day but then I decided I wanted to complete the mindless one because he's such an integral part of several Doctor Strange stories and I'm, I'm like a Doctor Strange fan as far as you know reading the books the older books at least so I decided to, to get this figure and complete the build a figure and honestly I'll have to say I was quite surprised by how much I like this figure now I do think it's missing a few things most notably butterfly joints in the shoulders I really really wish that with this being you know a martial arts type figure that they had really put those butterflies in this figure's shoulder and I have to say, for such a simple design, it's quite striking, the, the paint and stuff. It doesn't always line up, <clears throat> but that's the nature of the beast sometimes. But I have to say, you know, the head sculpt, even though it's just black and white, is, to me, it's a very, very good sculpt and deco. And I really like I really like this figure, even though I know nothing other than the blurb on the back of the box about this character. And does she fight Daredevil? Is she his ally? I don't know. But, you know, I, I, I do think it's a striking figure. Just it's, it's stark with just, you know, it's colorless black and white. But it really works with the swirls and designs and, and, you know, whatever you want to call it. The paint deco on it really works and it makes for a striking figure. And I'm glad that I picked this one up even though I know nothing about the character. I do think it's a really good figure. At least, you know, in Marvel Legends standards, it's, it's a pretty good figure. Again, you know, I would have loved for, you know, some extra points of articulation on this figure. You know, it's time to get a shin cut or boot cut back in these female figures, especially with the newer mold. This one has, of course, the Black Widow legs, I believe. And butterfly joint, you know, I would love for Marvel Legends to at some point adopt that pull down hinge from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Uh, you've seen some other companies starting to integrate that uh, that aren't like high-end import type stuff like the uh, 
Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star series has, for the most part, they have that pull-down hinge. <coughs> Mattel is starting to integrate that hinge into their Masterverse, Master of the Universe, Masterverse line. And, you know, that's, that's what I can think of off the top of my head. So, eventually, I hope it's going to be industry standard, just like wired cloth good capes will eventually be industry standards. I may not live to see it in my lifetime, <laughs> but hopefully eventually it gets there. But this is a really good figure. If you don't know anything about this character, you just like interesting figures, this is an interesting figure. And I'm glad I picked her up. Well, that does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for viewing my content. If you would like to help support my content further, I'm now offering memberships at various tiers. Click the Join button and see if any membership offerings are right for you, but only if you are in a position to do so. Like, share, subscribe if you would like to see more reviews or just help the channel out or both that's even better and don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available that's a wrap folks i'll see you next time